In our top story tonight, applications were made available for the Keeping Families Together Act earlier this week. The program from the Biden administration aims to help expedite the process for families seeking residency or citizenship as they wait for their green card. ABC 36's Anna Medina spoke to a Lexington immigration attorney on what she's seen thus far and explains how this program affects her personally, along with so many countless others as well. This isn't a direct shot to citizenship. It's a pathway to permanency is what we call it. As immigration attorney Heather Hottie explains, the Keeping Families Together program aims to help individuals and families going through the process of getting a green card. People who qualify for PIP, it's not that they couldn't get a green card, there was no avenue. It was just the avenue that they were you know, working towards, the process was so long. Parole in place, or PIP, is an application that is already in effect. But in this case, those going through the process would not have to travel back to their home country. We have a lot of Hispanic you know, clients and a lot of individuals from Mexico. So they would have to go to Juarez, Ciudad Juarez. And it's a, it's a dangerous place and it's scary because a lot of the spouses, they can't leave to go with their, their significant other. The biggest concern for many is if they would have been allowed back into the United States. Well, Hadi says PIP will help to ease those concerns. We do have that concern that in November, you know, if you haven't gotten your application in by then, you know, this, this might not be an opportunity that, you'll, that will be available past November. Hadi recommends applying as soon as possible. There is a filing fee that's associated with um, this process. Not only that is uh, the filing fee is $580 with USCIS. It is an online only application. For Hadi, the process is also personal as she is currently helping her husband. It's really not that time consuming of an application if you have everything in front of you. So um, we shared a, a tear, we shared a drink, and we're very, very excited to get this going. I want to take my husband all over the world. And if you or someone you know may qualify to apply. Make sure that you meet the qualifications and then start getting your documents together because this does um, you know, have a residency requirement where you needed to have been residing in the United States for 10 years and married to a U.S. citizen as of June 17th, 2024. So there's gonna, you're, you're going to have to get proof of those aspects. In Lexington, Anna Medina, ABC 36 News Now.